All right, in this video, I just want to talk about doing a couple examples of uh, finding the center radius form of a circle. And the idea is if you have a circle that's centered at the point positive h, positive k, so we'll say, again, the center is at positive h, positive k. If it has a radius of r, the equation of the circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So maybe a true-false question here real quick, the first one. Suppose we know the diameter of a circle is 10 centimeters and the center is at, and maybe we can even leave off the units, so whatever the units are, it's a diameter of 10. If the center is at the point 3, negative 6, then the equation of the circle would be x minus 3 squared plus uh, y plus 6 squared equals 25. Is that true or false? Well. Notice one thing in this formula too. The signs, when you kind of drop in the points, the h and the k, they're sort of opposite signs in a sense. Because it's centered at positive h, but we use negative h. It's centered at the y coordinate as positive k, but notice it's a negative k. And another thing, notice we don't just use the radius, but the radius gets squared. Okay, so kind of this notion of opposite signs. So the first thing in here, um, since it's centered at positive 3, x minus 3, that's correct. Uh, since it's centered at the y-coordinate of negative 6, we do use positive 6, that's correct. Now they're telling us that the diameter of the circle is 10, but remember the diameter is the distance all the way across, uh, you know, that goes through the center of the circle. It's a, it's a, it's a, so in this case, since the, the diameter is 10, the radius in fact would equal 5. And remember, we don't just plug the radius in, but we take the radius and we square it. And in this case, 5 squared, hey, that would give us 25. So in fact, this is the correct equation. This is very much true. So maybe one other here, just kind of using this formula. So we want to know which equation is the best choice for the graph of the given circle. So I've tried to make a, a little circle here. Um, let's see, so suppose it's centered here. Let's assume the center here is at uh, the x-coordinate of positive 4 and the y-coordinate of positive 2. Um, let's see, suppose it hits right at the x-axis at this point, 4, 0. So I think we can conclude, since we're two units up, we could actually conclude that this radius here would have to have a value of 2. Okay, so that's one thing that we have to think about here a little bit. Well, let's see. Okay, so x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 4. Is this correct? Well, again, notice it's centered at positive 4 comma 2. So we should have x minus 4 in the first set of parentheses and y minus 2 in the second set. So I think we've kind of got uh, these values flip-flopped. So that's not correct. This part's not correct. If we take the radius and square it, we would get positive 4, so that part's correct, but you know, there's, there's problems elsewhere, so that's not right. Well, let's see, the second one, okay, we would have x minus 4, which is the x-coordinate, that's correct. y minus 2, that's correct, equals to, well, the radius is 2, but again, we have to square this, so that's not correct either. Well, okay, well, hopefully it's the last one, but notice this is correct. If we take x minus the x-coordinate of where it's centered, plus y minus the y-coordinate of where it's centered, squared on both of those. If we take the radius and square it, we do get 4. So in fact, this last choice would be the correct choice for the equation of our given circle.